class look at mixed multiplication and division with exponents. For these types of problems, you want to do the multiplication first, and then the division, and then evaluate as far as you can. So here, they've moved this over already because there's nothing we can evaluate. So here, we multiply the coefficients, so 2 times 10 is 20. We always keep our base, which is x, and then we simply add the exponents. 3 plus 4 is 7. Then, we want to evaluate. So we can do 20 divided by 5, 20 divided by 4, which is 5, and then x to the 7th and x to the 2nd. Remember, we want to subtract those exponents. So 7 minus 2 equals 5, so that's 5x to the 5th power, and that's as far as we can go. We can't evaluate this any further. For our next one, again, this has already been done. So 3 times 4, our coefficients, is 12. Keep the base. This is x to the 1st power and x to the 4th power, which would give us x to the 5th power. Then we can do 36 divided by 12, which is 3. Keep the base and 8 minus 5 is 3. For our last one, we have a lot going on, so let's take a look at this one. So, the top, we're going to do 6 times 3, which is 18. Keep our first base, which is x, and then 4 plus 5, which is 9. Our next base is y, so that's 3 plus 1, which is 4. And on the bottom, we have 24 x to the third, y to the second, because we can't evaluate any of that. Here, this is 18 over 24th, so we're just going to simplify this like a fraction. I'm going to divide both of those numbers by 6, which will give me 3 over 4, and then x to the 9 minus 3 is 6, and y to the 4 minus 2, which is 2. You could also see this written this way as well. So again, here are the multiplication rules, the division rules, and then if we have mixed multiplication and division, you follow each rule separately.